Hi everyone, I'm covering Geometry Q.1 Pythagorean Theorem. Now, the reason I'm doing this is because geometry is uh, heavily, heavily tested on your SAT and ACT. And since geometry is heavily tested there, one of the most common uh, equations that you're going to use will be the Pythagorean Theorem. So, here is some good practice to get you ready for that ACT and SAT. To begin, we want to find the perimeter of this triangle. So, we need to remember that the Pythagorean Theorem is a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Now, c is always your hypotenuse, which is going to be the larger side. So, a and b are these two numbers. So, I have 20 squared plus 21 squared equals c squared. In this case, 20 squared is 400. 21 squared, I don't know, so I'm going to use my calculator to make sure I am doing this correctly. 21 squared is 441 equals c squared. Let's go ahead and add those up. 400 plus 441 is going to be 841 equals c squared. Now, in order to get c by itself, the inverse of squaring something is going to be taking the square root. So the square root of 841 is going to be 29. Now, I definitely used a calculator for that, and I really suggest that you do the same. Equals c. Now, since we know c is 29, we can now find the perimeter. Find the perimeter is just adding up all the sides. So 29 plus 20 plus 21 gives me a perimeter of 70. So 70 is going to be my final answer. Answer. Again, what is the perimeter? Same style of question. Let's go. What is the perimeter? If necessary, round to the nearest tenth. That is probably going to be necessary, so let's make sure that we know how to do that. Again, a squared plus b squared equals c squared. I have a and b in this case, so 4 squared is 16, 5 squared is 25, equals c squared. 16 and 25 make 41, and I want to take the square root in order to find c, so the square root of 41, this is definitely going to be a number that is not whole. So square root of 41 is 6.40. Now I'm going to round to the nearest tenth. So that is the to the nearest first decimal place. So rounding, that's going to be 6.4 is approximately equal to C. Because I'm rounding. Now we can use that 6.4 in order to help us with our perimeter. 4 plus 5 is 9, 9 plus 16, 6.4 will give me 15.4 as my final answer. Submit. Keep it up. Alright, now we are going into word problems. Alright, so. Ezra lives 4 kilometers due south of his parents' house and 2 kilometers west of his, parent, of his grandparents' house. So let me draw a point, that's going to be where Ezra is, he lives 4 kilometers south of his parents. So if he lives 4, four kilometers south, then if I go north, that's going to be 4. He, and 2 kilometers west, so north, east, south, west, that means that if I go east, from his house, that's two kilometers. So let me make sure I'm showing my work. This is where Ezra is. This is his parents' house. He lives four kilometers south of his parents. 
and then he lives two kilometers west of his grandparents' house. So, on his birthday, Ezra drove from his house to his parents' house. From there, he drove in a straight line to his grandparents' house and then back home. Let me show that in green. He first drove to his parents' house. From there, he drove in a straight line to his grandparents' house and then back home. How far did Ezra drive? Basically, again, this question is asking, what is the perimeter? So, Pythagorean Theorem, make sure we remember it. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. In this case, I am not given C, so I'm given A and B. Four squared is 16. Two squared is four. And I wanna find C. So, take the square root of 20 from adding 16 plus 4. So the square root of 20 is going to be, I think it's like 4.47. So since it's 4.47, and up here it says rounds to the nearest tenth, 4.47 rounds to 4.5. is equal to C. So, 4.5, if we add those three sides together, 8.5 and I get 10.5 by adding all three together. So, 10.5. Fantastic. Let's keep going. Um, Looks to be around the same question, so I'm going to keep going. Let me try this one, see if it's any different. Cal lives 6.9 miles due south of his parents' house. So, again, let's make sure, hey, this is Kyle. And if he lives south, so his parents are up here. And that is 6.9. So parents. And 5.1 miles west of his grandparents. 5.1. G for grandparents. If his driving, let's see, on his birthday, he drove from his house to his parents. From there, grandparents. And then from there, back home. Okay, this is the same style of question. How far did Kyle drive? I'm going to quickly do this one um, by just talking about it. 6.9 squared. Whoops. 6.9 squared is 47.61. 5.1 squared is... 26.01 and we want to find C so let's add those up 47.61 that's 73.62 and then we want to take the square root of that and that's 8.58 which rounds to 8.6 so 8.6 is equal to C now let's add those three together to get uh, plus, let's see, so 8.6 plus 6.9 plus 5.1 equals 20.6. So the perimeter of that triangle, or how much did Kyle drive, was 20.6. Submit. Awesome. So, I think we are getting to the same questions, they're not going to change here. If they do change and you find difficulty, please just reach out to me and I will help you out. Everybody, this is Mr. Mannion, Geometry Q.1, Pythagorean Theorem. I hope you have a great day.